okay, hello everyone. I'm going to present some examples. We did hear now. Thank you. Of uh, spin spin coupling constants between heavy atoms and how we applied new developed visualization techniques based on four components DFT uh, to study them. Okay. Uh, let's start with some theory. Uh, the NMR indirect spin spin coupling constant arises from an interaction between two nuclei mediated by the electronic structure which is perturbed by the magnetic moment of the nuclei involved. Therefore, the reduced spin-spin coupling constant uh, is usually computed with the use of perturbation theory as the change of in the electronic structure due to the magnetic field induced by the nuclear moment. At the relativistic approach, spin-spin coupling tensor can also be expressed in terms of linear response theory using a single linear response function. Uh, all of our calculations were performed for these three molecules, hereafter called selenium-selenium, selenium-tellurium, and tellurium-tellurium. Spin-spin couplings for these molecules were studied earlier, and there are both experimental and theoretical data available for comparison. The A structures here represent lowest potential uh, energy minima, and these structures represent the second conformation studied. Uh, it should be stressed here that uh, we did not find any other stable conformational isomer for the tellurium tellurium molecule, and that is why, following literature, we optimized the B structure with two dihedral angles frozen. So, this is not in fact a local energy minimum. Uh, here, you can see some of our numerical results for spin-spin coupling constants obtained mostly in the RESPECT program, as there is a big difference uh, between spin-spin coupling constant uh, values for, of the two conformers. Uh, it's necessary to take them both uh, into consideration when comparing these results with experiment. In case of all three molecules, uh, the relativistic effects play an important role in, in these uh, calculations. Of course, the heavier the coupled atoms are, the more pronounced the relativistic effects are. As you can see, our four component relativistic Dirac Concham results yield good agreement with uh, the experiment for selenium selenium and selenium tellurium molecules. Moreover, in these two cases, the Dirac Concham performs better than spin orbit Dora from ADF. Uh, it seems that uh, Dirac Concham approach produces spin spin coupling constant values, absolute values, that are systematically larger than spin orbit Dora. Uh, it appears also that in order to obtain a better agreement with uh, experiment, uh, it a much more sophisticated uh, averaging over the whole potential energy surface should be performed. Okay, let's go further. Uh, as I men uh, uh, mentioned before, spin-spin coupling -spin tensor is defined as a second uh, derivative of the electronic uh, energy with respect to magnetic dipole moments of the nuclei. However, alternatively, it can be expressed using the first order current density induced by the nuclear dipole moment. Here you can also see expressions for the current density and the first order current density in the framework of four component DFT. Uh, to visualize spin spin coupling constants, we plot the isotropic average of the integrand in equation four with additional averaging over the intercharge of the two nuclei. Uh, in the following part of my presentation, I'm going to refer to the integrand in equation four as spin-spin coupling density. Uh, this is uh, the first example of the visualization techniques in action. Here, you can see the spin-spin coupling density for the selenium selenium, selenium tellurium, and tellurium tellurium molecules. 
note that the green color represents positive values and the red color represents the negative values. The fruit uh, the through space nature of the three couplings is clearly visible here, and there is no observable density along the path through the chemical bonds. Okay, uh, this is a two dimensional visualization of the first order density by the magnetic dipole moment of the selenium nucleus attached to the oxygen atom in the selenium selenium molecule. The current density is projected onto the plane of the aromatic rings and the magnetic moment perturbation is perpendicular to the plane and directed towards us. You can clearly notice here the alternating clockwise and the counterclockwise current at the aromatic carbons and hydrogen atoms. Uh, this is a very interesting picture because it illustrates the Dirac vector model uh, as uh, the circular currents of the aromatic carbons are connected to the Fermi contact mechanism. Mm. Uh, this uh, picture also illustrates the Dirac vector model as you can see that uh, the coupling constant between all the nuclei and selenium atom, uh, their, their signs uh, change uh, as the current of the aromatic carbons uh, change. And this is also connected to the Fermi contact mechanism. Uh, okay, let's go further. In this picture, you can see uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, okay. Uh, as you remember, there was a huge difference uh, in uh, the tellurium tellurium spin spin coupling constant due to the relativistic effect. And uh, this picture so, uh, shows that the change in spin spin coupling density is purely in the paramagnetic contribution. In case of the diamagnetic contribution, there was no visible difference between visualizations obtained by relativistic and non relativistic methods. And here you can see spin orbit and scalar relativistic contribution to spin spin coupling constant density for the tellurium tellurium molecule. It is very clear that the relativistic effects in this case are dominated by scalar relativity. This is not unexpected uh, since it was observed earlier that spin orbit effects rarely pl uh, play an important role in heavy atom, heavy atom couplings. Okay, and now to sum up, I have presented to you the result of four component DFT calculations of selenium, 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 tellurium, and tellurium, tellurium through space spin spin coupling constant with focus on the coupling pathways. The estimate values of selenium selenium and selenium tellurium spin spin coupling constants we obtained indicate that our four component approach is in better agreement with the experiment than the spin zora approach from the ADF. In case of the uh, tellurium tellurium spin spin coupling constants, it, the problem might be that we didn't uh, find the second local minimum and uh, we, we are not using it during the average, averaging procedure. Uh, secondly, uh, we showed you further analysis in terms of visualization of spin-spin coupling constant densities. And uh, these visualizations confirmed that the through space, uh, the, that the character of the studied couplings is purely through space. We also uh, made a comparison of the visualized coupling densities at different levels of approximation. And this allows us to show the role of separate contributions to spin-spin coupling constants. On the whole, our newly developed visualization techniques implemented in RESPECT in many cases can provide a useful illustration of the numerical results as it is said one picture is worth a thousand words. Uh, all of the results that I, I show, show showed you today uh, in this presentation are 
and also some more examples can be found in our recently published paper. It is also worth mentioning that uh, because of the time restrictions, I wasn't able to show you all the capabilities of uh, the RESPEC program. And uh, for example, it is also possible to analyze the contributions of individual molecular orbitals to spin spin coupling constants. I would like to thank all co authors. I would also like to thank the National Science Center in Poland, Slovak Grant Agencies, and the Research Council of Norway for financing. And last but not least, I would like to thank you for your attention. Thank you very much for the interesting talk and again, perfect timing. Uh, so it's time for questions or comments. If I, I, I have very simple questions. So you use PPE 50 or PPE 0? Or uh, I think that in the table that I, I've shown you, we have done both PPE 0, 50 okay. and PPE 0 results. Did you try different functionals? Because there are so many different functionals which can be used here to check how, how they work with this for the systems? Uh, I think we checked some of them because the first thing we actually did, we did some kind of a, let's say, method calibration with different basis sets and different functional for the selenium selenium molecule. And it turned out that these two were the best. Okay, so can you compare your results not only with experiment, but with different calculations using different methods, or you can only run DFT for, for such a calculations? Uh, as you, you can see here, these uh, systems are quite big, so yeah, I see. couldn't try anything else than DFT, to tell you the truth. Okay, so any more questions or comments? Irek, there is a... Uh, one raised hand. Uh, I don't see, so it's a, go ahead, who, who, who wants so, to ask? We, so, Janek, please. Uh, yes, uh, hello. Ask the, please. Do you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay, uh, I want to ask about these uh, slides uh, with uh, vectors shown. Uh, can you elaborate a little more uh, about this uh, Dirac vector model? Okay, so if you have, actually I wanted to show a slide with that, but I wanted, I thought that it would be too long. So if you have a spin, uh, alpha spin of one nucleus, then the spin of the electron because uh, of the Fermi contact would be a beta. Then we go to the, then we have the, a power rule that the second electron would also have beta spin. So because of the Fermi contact, this, uh, uh, sorry, because of the uh, power rule, the second electron will have alpha spin. And then the, uh, because of the Fermi contact, the uh, second nucleus will uh, have the beta spin. So uh, if we are showing then the signs of the spin-spin coupling, coupling uh, uh, through one bond will be always positive, let's say almost always. Then the coupling through two uh, bonds will be negative and so on and so on. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Any more questions, comments? I don't see. Krzysztof, you see something? No. Somebody? Okay. So if not, let's thank uh, once more the both speakers. It was the uh, 